are at some Korean restaurant. And Walter's having pork katsu with mac, rice, and cabbage. And your chicken is here. Chicken. My chicken is and here. And the rice is almost ready. Oh! Enjoy. Having fried some, chicken. We have some of this rice. Walter found a Chinese restaurant on Waikiki. So it's downstairs, <laughs> not on the, not on street level. So we are starting off with pork pot stickers, and then we're gonna have Mongolian beef and rice. That's it. Walter's not that hungry. <laughs> we're having Mongolian beef, and we ordered two bowls of rice. I think we could have gotten away with one. No. No. Ariel's already got one bowl of rice here, and he'll have the other half a bowl of rice right here. That crab looks like it's about three pounds. So, crab is their specialty. How much is the crab? $42 a pound. $42 a pound. Average crab is about two to three pounds. We are not walking in the sand or in the beach, but we are walking in the promenade, paved promenade that's here in Waikiki. The reason we're not walking in the beach is because there's about a thousand people laying out and you have to essentially maneuver around everyone. Even near the, even near the surf line, they're just sitting in beach chairs. So. You can't really peacefully walk on the beach here because you're going to step on someone. So, enjoying the view because this is the absolute last time we will be in Waikiki. This is the absolute last time we will be in Oahu. This is not my favorite island. My favorite island is still Maui. They have beaches there where you can walk on the on the beach without running over anyone. We might change planes here again. Well, that's about it. Change planes. That's but that's not leaving the airport. Our hotel is over there. Apparently, there's a lot of Sheratons here. That pink hotel over there is a Sheraton, and I did not realize that Marriott. Bought Sheridan. A long time ago. A long time ago. Didn't even know that. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Two. Welcome back. <laughs> Photo shoot. We're just like. Any table. Any table. Which table do you want? for today and for dinner we'll share a we'll share something, something at the food court I don't know 
You'll have something small to do for it. We're just having a slice of pizza and apparently here at the food court their slice of pizza is a quarter of the whole pie so anyway this is more food than i just wanted that we all right take the extra piece home back to the hotel for a midnight stand okay. Look at that, it's still a long line at that in the rain. At that Udon place. Back here in the Liliha Bakery, we can see it from our hotel room, which is right there. And tonight, our last dinner here, I'm having oxtail soup with rice, and Walter is having New York steak and steak, rice. Rice, potato, mac, and corn. Yes, and apparently the bread is really good. Guess not. This is our waiter. He's been horrible. If you haven't guessed yet, we do travel first class. And we're over a large body of water. Well, only if we have to. We have to. We have to. Way too old and very comfortable. Why am I spinning it wrong? Okay. So, in this flight, oh, by the way, we're sitting in 2 A and B. <sighs> okay, here's the menu. Hi, aloha. Aloha. Welcome, guys. My name is Chad. This is, this is Chad. Hi. <laughs> we're going to be nice to Chad because he's going to bring us liquor. Oh, yeah. And we'll have a great rapport. It'll oh, be a beautiful thing over here. bring us liquor. <laughs> Las Vegas direct. Non-stop. Non-stop. I don't know my terminology regarding this. I just want to go from there to there without stopping anymore. Direct means you don't have to get off the plane, but it can stop six times between where you get off and where you get off. It's a cheating term for airlines. Oh, it's direct. But they can stop six times before you get off. Non-stop means that you get off the plane at the first stop and it's where you want to be. And then you press it Ooh, and this little whole thing comes out and you set your iPad on it. Fabulous! Look at What is this button? Uh, we don't know. Oh, it's a screen! Oh! In case you don't like the person you're sitting next to. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Must be stowed for taxi. Oh, we gotta stow it. Yeah. No, I like who I'm sitting with. Were you able to decide what you want to eat and drink? Yes. Okay. What would you like? You want the chicken or the chicken schnitzel? Yeah, the chicken schnitzel, yeah. How about for you? 
Uh, the non vegetarian. Non vegetarian. Got it. Chicken schnitzel, yeah. Okay, the chicken schnitzel, and I will have a Bailey's. Bailey's, yeah. Do you need it with anything else? Bailey's rocks? Bailey's on the rock. Yeah, Bailey's rocks. Bailey's rocks. And water. Yeah, this that's is Chad. Hi, guys. He's going to bring us liquor. A lot of liquor. <laughs> right. I normally don't drink. All right, well. This, this is a rare exception and it's really strong too. This is a good, yeah, this is a good time to do it all, you know? You guys we're not vacation. driving when we get home, yeah, so perfect. it's okay. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Right. Thank you, Chad. No, we're good, sir. Thank you. Pulling the plastic tap. Hold the life vest in front of you. Pull the vest over your head and wrap the strap around your waist. Attach the buckle and pull the loose end to tighten. As you exit the aircraft, inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tab in front. The vest may also be inflated by blowing air into the tube at the top. For location and operation of the infant life vest, please refer to the safety briefing card or ask a flight attendant. This is a non-smoking flight. Smoking is not permitted at any time on board this aircraft. For your safety, the lavatories are equipped with smoke detectors. Federal regulations prohibit the tampering with, disabling, or destroying of any installed detector. The cabin safety card is located in your seat pocket ahead of you. Please review this important safety information. We ask for your help in preparing the cabin for departure. Yeah! Please check to see that your seatbelt is securely fastened, your tray table is closed and locked, and your seat back is in its full upright position. Make sure your headrest and video monitors are in a stowed position, and your carry-ons are properly stowed completely beneath the seat in front of you. We're in the overhead compartment! For guests in our business or first class cabin, please ensure that your foot and leg rest are in the stowed position. If you're seated next to a window, please raise your window shades for takeoff. On behalf of all of us here at Hawaiian Airlines, thank you very much for choosing to fly with us. Mahalo ike yalauna pu anamai. Enjoy your flight. Ladies and gentlemen, in the event that oxygen masks do deploy from the panels above you today, it's a reminder for those of you choosing to wear a facial covering to remove those coverings prior to the donning and utilization of that oxygen mask. Also, should any reportable electronic devices and our cellular telephones become hot or warm to the touch while in flight, we do ask that you power them down and let one of your flight attendants know right away. Most portable electronic devices do contain lithium batteries that have been known to overheat and cause injury while in flight. Once again, should any of your items become hot or warm to the touch, please power them down and let one of your flight attendants know. Also at this time, if you're utilizing any of our USB charging ports on board the aircraft, we'd like to ask that you unplug your items. We'll go ahead and turn on aircraft power once you reach 10,000 feet. Uh -huh. Are we supposed to unplug? Yes. Oh, is that what he said? Yes. Unplug from the... Unplug. Unplug from the power source? Okay.
Sarah. Just hot water? Just hot water. Hot water. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are you trying to get drink tea or anything like that? No, just hot water. You just want hot water. Just hot right. water. You got it. <laughs> hot water it is. Aloha, Malama, 